All right, so this is the map I made for um, Escape Simulator. It's a um, community map, so you can get it on the workshop if you want to. Um, but I thought it would be fun to kind of, uh, yeah, do a little walkthrough. So let's get started. This is the room where you spawn in. Um, it's a little living room with a kitchen. Um, and as you can see, it's Christmas themed. You know, there's a Christmas tree and there's snow and a snowman outside. Um, and yeah, when players enter, they uh, see this note, which is a note from grandma because, you know, you're visiting your grandma over Christmas. Um, and it reads, Hello, sweet grandchild. I have to run some errands, but I will return shortly. When I'm back, you can try to finally beat me at our favorite game. But for now, I hold the high score. See you soon, Gran. P.S. I can't find the tree topper for on the Christmas tree. Could you keep an eye out for it? So this is, uh, these are the two, the, the two first clues. Um, the first one being the high score, and the second one is that you have to find the tree topper. Because as you can see, uh, there is no tree topper. Um, and when you're just kind of looking around in this room, you will also notice that there is a suspicious looking button on this painting. Um, these two don't have it, and you know, this light is also turned on while this one isn't. Um, so yeah, let's press it. And suddenly we find this safe door. <laughs> uh, and we need a four digit code to open it. Now, going back to that first clue that we found, um, if we just kind of look around in here, uh, we will find this little game cassette. Um, ARD, Alien Removal Division, is uh, a game I worked on in university, so that's a little, little Easter egg. Um, but we can actually pop that in and it will turn on the television, giving us the high score from Grandma, which is a four-digit code, so 6837. 6837. And that actually opens up the safe. Now, there is some stuff in here, uh, which is kind of like set dressing, storytelling stuff, I guess. Uh, so spell casting, uh, potion making, and there's even a magic wand in here uh, that kind of gives you an idea of what Grandma is into. Um, some, some magic stuff. And then there is this little notepad with uh, some symbols on it. Now, players are gonna, you know, look around and kind of explore and they will notice this gingerbread house, which actually has the same looking symbols on it. Now, if you look at the note again, um, you know, there's three, and then this thing has three digits as well. Now, if we take the house and count these, so there's one door, two windows, and four candy canes, we can actually put that in. So one, two, four. And that gives us some candy. Now, although this note says, don't eat my candy, we are going to eat the candy, obviously. Um, but yeah, it turns out that this is magic candy and, you know, grandma's into magic stuff. Um, and, and yeah, we shrink and we end up on this little kitchen counter. So this is kind of meant as a escape room within an escape room. <laughs> um, but yeah, our goal now is to, to become large again, um, because we obviously don't want to stay this tiny. Um, so if we just kind of walk around the room, we will start finding these these small pieces of candy. Uh, there is a, a sad looking gingerbread man here and this poster on the wall. Uh, I'll just continue walking around for a bit and we'll pick up stuff as we go. Uh, there's a playing card here, which has a uh, number seven and a letter on the back. Uh, there's some, some presents, you know, a Christmas tree which might come in handy. <laughs> um, yeah, more candy, another playing card. Now, obviously I'm going through this quite fast. Um, players don't do it this fast, but they do tend to, to find everything that they need. Um, but yeah, as I was already pointing out, you know, this is basically the solution to that puzzle. So I can just put them on in the, the correct order. So first we have this one, and then the blue one goes here, I believe. Green one there. Uh, and 
the red one, and then the green, and oh, that's a little uh, continuity error, I guess. We have a gingerbread house with the gingerbread house, but that's fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that opened up uh, these present boxes when we solved this puzzle. And we have a snowman hand, which we can put on the snowman. And it gives us this candy piece. Uh, we also got an arm. <laughs> we got a head and an arm. Um, and we can put it on the sad looking man. And now he's a happy gingerbread man, giving us another piece of candy. Uh, there is a third piece of candy over here, which I put here to kind of signpost where they have to go, as if it fell off the house. Um, and yeah, we basically just have to mirror what's already there, uh, which you can also see on the sides of the house. So the green one goes on here, and then the blue one there, and the red one there. And that opens up this little uh, letter box. And first thing we find is the tree topper that Grandma told us to look out for. Uh, and we also found a note with a QR code. Now, when you scan this QR code, you will go to uh, a music video. <laughs> it's uh, Last Christmas by Wham. Um, as this is a Christmas themed room, I thought that would be appropriate because it's one of my favorite Christmas songs. <laughs> um, and yeah, if we look at these cards, they have numbers and letters on the back. Uh, if we, there, there is another card, there is four, which is hidden under here. And this is an M. So we have M, W, A, H. And over here we have a chest with a four digit number. Now, the song that the QR code takes you to is the song by Wham. So we have to put these cards and their numbers in the correct order. Let me just throw some stuff out of my inventory real quick. To make it a bit easier for me to navigate. Um, so we, we have to keep the, the topper and then we have these cards with the numbers uh, giving us the following code. It's two, seven, seven, four, six. And we find another piece of candy. This one goes on the front door, and that opens up the gingerbread house. And there's a final chest, this one you can just click and open, and we found another piece of magic candy, which makes us, you know, our normal size again, and we're back in the normal sized room. Uh, and we can put the tree topper on top of the tree, which is the final step to completing this room. Uh, yeah, so, so that was basically it. It was a quick run through, uh, kind of showing what I did. Um, and yeah, this is what the, the level editor looks like. The shrinking was actually quite fun to make because basically what I did, um, yeah, I, I can't speed up the movement speed through this editor, unfortunately, so bear with me. But uh, basically I, I just built the, the normal room over here and then I copied and pasted everything. <laughs> and scaled it up a bunch of times and then put it over there and then continued building, uh, you know, an actual room on top of the kitchen counter. So had to get a bit creative there, but it was quite fun to, to figure out to, to do stuff like that. Um, and the level editor is generally quite easy to use, so I definitely recommend kind of messing around with it and trying to make something fun. Um, yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it.